baby girl. You feel the vibe is contagious. Look in your eyes, it is dangerous. Real ass nigga, give a fuck about a bitch. It is what it is, this is five star dick. She a big old freak, it's a must. Hey y'all, so today we'll be doing an invisible ponytail, so you'll need a comb, got to be spray, a brush, a hairband, and then a blow dryer. So you want to first start off by combing your hair out, make sure you don't have any type of kinks or any type of knots, make sure your hair is completely detangled before starting to do the ponytail, this is a very, very vital. I straightened out the outside of my hair because I don't plan on keeping the ponytail very long. So let's start off by putting some gas to be spray on the back. Keep in mind that everyone mows their hair different. This is the way that works for me. So I'm going to start off by mowing the back part of my hair and you'll see me put some more gas to be spray on it. I don't use a lot because the ponytail will not stay up very long. Then you'll begin to work on your hair on the side. So for me, something that I found was that working on my head by sections was extremely helpful. So I started off with the back, then I moved to the side doing the front and then I move to the other side working in sections helps you to get that smooth and clean finish that you're looking for and uh, be sure to add enough spray so that you can get the desired stiffness to your ponytail because that is important so you'll see me brush over one section multiple times and even add more gas to be spray because I want that clean finish for my ponytail so just continue to brush and add spray as you see a need to later you'll see me begin to use a blow dryer and I am not using the blow dryer on very hot I'm using it on the second notch on my blow dryer which is warm and this is helping the ponytail to stay in place and it has that adds that stiffness to the ponytail. So you will be using the blow dryer for throughout the style. So now that I'm complete, I'm adding it into ponytail and this is how the ponytail looks. I'm going to wrap this ponytail around and I will not be using any hair pins or any glue on this ponytail. I did add an elastic band to the ponytail with a piece of hair on the end and the elastic band is long enough to wrap around once and then I will begin to wrap around the hair that I added to the end of that elastic band and you want to comb out that hair to make sure that hair has no tangles and that is smooth that is what will give you that smooth finish for the band that's at the bottom part of your ponytail so continue to rub that around until you get to the end of the hair so just continue to wrap your ponytail around until you get to the very end of that piece of hair that you're working with as you're rolling it around your ponytail, be sure to take your time. And add more hair if you want the band to be higher. Let me take the piece out of my ponytail. And I just like mine to sit up just a little bit higher. So I'm combing that out once again. And this is adding the Gats and Beast spray. It's going to give the ponytail band that shine that you see. Okay, so we'll begin to roll that around and I just rolled it on the same exact track that I had the first piece of hair that I rolled around. I just like to add extra security to my ponytail and I'll again do the same steps follow. I'll just add it around until the hair comes to the very end of it. Okay. And just keep rolling the piece around until you get to the very end all right and you want to take your time on this part because this is extremely vital when it comes to the finished look of your ponytail and adjust it as you see fit make sure that you comb out your ponytail before styling okay and I'm adding just a little bit more of the Gats to Be Spray to my ponytail. 
and I was excited to be done, right? This was so fast. So thank you for staying all the way to the end of the video. If you haven't already, be sure to like, comment, share, subscribe. Let me know how you like this ponytail. And if you try, tag me in it. I would love to see how your results turn out. Again, thanks for watching. Bye.